Hey, what's up guys? Josh here and welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Now before we actually get into this, I actually want to give you, uh, thank you all so much because I have finally been partnered by Social Blade. Um, it's a network that is growing very quickly and if you ask anybody um, who Social Blade is, they'll obviously know. Uh, it's this website that started out that they could tell you your daily video views and any network nowadays um, will ask you to show a screenshot of your social blade so they can see how many daily views you get and how many subscribers you get and how many uh, channel uh, views you get in one month. So uh, I finally got partnered. I want to thank you guys so much for this. It's a huge milestone that I've been trying to get and I've finally achieved it. So thank you guys and uh, let's get into the tip. So today we're going to be learning how to make your own brush, your own custom brush. Um, so, as you can see here, I have, I have quite a few brushes. Um, they're not that many, but they're the ones that I use the most. Some people have like hundreds and hundreds of brushes. I just use the ones that I really like and the ones that I use um, in all my projects. So we're gonna, but today we're gonna learn how to make our own. Okay, so you're gonna need to go to File and then New, and then one, all right. So what you're gonna do? Go to any uh, dimensions you want. Just, I'm just going to do 1920 by 1080. And then background content, just leave it at white. Okay, so now you're going to make your own custom uh, shape. Uh, right now we're just going to keep it simple because every single brush I have, uh, the ones that I use the most are circle brushes. And I've always find, uh, found that there's a lot of square areas that I try to, that I try to uh, erase and the circle brushes just don't uh, cut it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the shape tool right here, make sure it's the square, not the rounded rectangle tool, the rectangle tool, and then just make it what, however, uh, whatever the dimensions you want it to be. So I'm just going to go like this, and I'm just going to make it black. It doesn't really matter what color. Okay, so this is really quick and simple. You just go like that. Um, just rasterize it just in case, and then you're going to delete the background. I always use this, I always delete the background just, uh, just for no reason, there's just, it's just for, uh, just for show, just for making sure that you can see what you're doing when, while you're making your uh, brush. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you are going to go to edit, and you're going to go to define brush preset. You're just going to click that, and you're just going to name it whatever you want. Okay, so I just named it square, now we're going to go to new, and then same thing. And now when you go to your brush, you will find it right there. So it's already you can use. And now all you have to do is just is depict what size you want. So I'm using 277. All right. And now it's a brush. So, and you can also use eraser and you can just use the same thing. So 284, you can just erase everything, which I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, sorry. And yeah, so uh, this is a pretty quick tip. Uh, again, guys, I want to thank you for the achievement that I have that I've gotten for becoming a partner. Uh, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make sure that my videos are up to qual are uh, better quality uh, instead of quantity. So also, guys, I'm also gonna try to upload more often. So I'm thinking around every three days or four days, but uh, with school and everything, you never know. But I'm always gonna try to do every three or four days if I can't put out a manipulation or any kind of other speed art I'll just put out a, a tutorial um, so yeah guys thank you so much for this achievement uh, and if you do uh, if this did uh, help you with any of your projects do please leave a like and, and please do comment and if you, uh, guys if you want to learn anything any more about Photoshop Adobe After Effects and Cinema 4D please do subscribe thanks guys and I'll see you later